Okay. Uh, how they're positioned, it might be good for a racket. That would hit all three of them. Let's do it. Hitting three guys is pretty solid. Commander, you may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. Hey there everyone, it's Thackard and welcome back to more XCOM Enemy Unknown. Uh back. Load. That's one we want. Last time we had a successful mission with no losses of life. In fact, we actually gained a person. On the downside, the Brits decided that they could do better all by themselves without the XCOM project. So we have lost one country from the XCOM project. But the good news is we do have some things that are coming up pretty soon. If we look here, we have a new satellite coming online that we can deploy tomorrow. Uh, we have our thermo generator. Well, we can't deploy tomorrow because we need to make a satellite facility. We have a thermo generator in two days. After that, we can make that next satellite. And we have our research, and we have 27 days till the next council report, so we're doing pretty good. Plus, we shot down a medium-sized UFO, which we are going to go after now. So being medium-sized, it's going to have a couple more guys and more dangerous guys than this last time. So we have to, uh, you know, be a little bit better <laughs> than we have been. Let's be honest, that's kind of scary. Mm. Hot coffee, baby. Hot coffee. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, big sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Okay. Where is said uh, UFO? Follow the path of burning. Sometimes you can kind of see it. I think it's back here. All right, where's our outer edge? Outer edge is there. And this outer edge is where? All the way, all the way over here. Holy cow, that's pretty far away. All right. So we're definitely going to press that direction. All right, so one of the things that we have to do here is we, we can climb over single high pieces of land, but we can't climb up double high pieces of land. So we're going to have to go up this ramp. Does give us a nice amount of a uh, height advantage. I never really want to not be in some form of cover, so. Well, that's a lot of different sounds. And they all sounded like they were over here.
right. Those are sectoids. You eventually... They all make their own little sounds, so eventually... Are those floaters? Eventually you can tell who's out there just by the noises that they make. All right, that's the parasectoids. We also saw the UFO there. Right, so they're going back. That one guy, that one guy is in view of him. He should actually be in full cover technically because he's on the that side of him. So he should be okay. You have a shot though. 70% chance. Uh, go for it. You can do it. Nice! You have never been able to hit anything. I mean, technically he has several kills. But he also has many, 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 many misses. <laughs> it is plenty and plenty of misses. We never gave Mickey his uh his new color. He's still wearing uh he's still wearing the uh ugly colors of a uh of a noob. What you heard there is me switching over to my pistol instead of my shotgun, just because a pistol is better at range. So if I'm going to be overwatching at range, I might as well have the pistol with me. Going to move our sniper into a position where he can cover us better. And we're going to have our guys kind of, I think we'll just kind of have them sit right here and overwatch for a minute. 50% chance. And move this guy into full cover. Put him into Overwatch. Uh, this is our wonderful new Abby Green. Can you hit a 50% shot? We want to risk it. Let's have you... I'm going to have you hug her down. We really want to keep you. We have a decent aim to start. They're trying to pull back. All right, so they're falling back. Whoa. Or not. Well, I'm glad I crouched. Can we put you I right, try it missed negative damage I need to get this guy in a place where he can cover don't trigger anything please don't trigger anything please 28% chance Oh, we're gonna suppress this guy though, which means he has minus 30 aim. Plus it also gives hollow targeting to my other guys. Probably should have done that first. We might have been able to hit with this guy, but uh, that would require me to have forethought. I just don't wanna trigger a second group.
All right. We're going to suppress again. That means we're going to have to... We can't suppress again because we don't have enough ammo. Forty-five percent chance to hits, or forty-eight percent chance to hit. Nice. He's down. All right. Move you up into cover. Let's have you reload. I'm going to move my sniper up into the high ground into this cover. We'll have him reload as well. Is he in cover? Yeah, he is. Just looks like he's standing pretty far away from that tree. That's all. Yep. Definitely a bigger one. Without having her with a shot, I kind of want to keep this guy back for a minute. Oh, there's someone. Hey, that's a. You hear anything? That's a floater, I think. I think that's a floater. Looking for good cover, and this is the next piece of good cover. I am concerned about that noise I heard from over here. Slowly moving our guys up. There's something out there. I think that's a thin one. Yep, there are the floaters. There are two sets of floaters, and they can hit hard. That's for sure. I was hoping that shot would have hit. Oh, that might be good. That looks pretty accurate. All right, that dude hit. Oh, you missed. Negative damage. They're on the move. X-ray on the move. They're flanking us. Okay. Uh, how they're positioned, it might be good for a rocket. That would hit all three of them. Let's do it. Hitting three guys is pretty solid. Commander, you may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. I know, but having three floaters flanking us is not my uh, idea of... A way to live a long and healthy life. Let's just say that. We still have a pair of some floaters over here, too. So knocking three floaters out with one shot, um, I'm going to take it. You might be like, that's kind of a waste. Nah, not to me, it ain't. I think that's Thin Men. Didn't hear anything off our right-hand side again. The floaters might have gone further away. That is not a cover position. No poop.
to withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity. The materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Oh, okay. Trying to get him in a better spot, that's all. Just a quick reload. Good to go. You can stand Overwatch. A lot bigger baddies out here, we gotta be careful. You hear that? Floaters off to our right. I don't want to fall back now. I think we need to take care of those floaters before they flank the hell out of us. While we're fighting whatever's on the inside here. Oh no, it's Thinman. Okay. I thought I had heard floaters over there. They're trying to flank us. Can you take a shot at someone? 70% chance, 50% chance. Up to five damage. 70% chance, 55% chance to crit. Do it. Hit it, 70% chance. You missed a 70, okay. Missed a 70% chance. If there's someone in here and I rush to here, they will see me and I will be completely flanked, which is not good. And this guy's already flanked, so we have to move her. She has nowhere to run to, though. Oh, boy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sixty-two percent chance. Not great, but we'll just try. Missed. We have to get her into cover. And if there are people back here, we have to be careful not to trigger them. Oh, we got poison. He just spit poison on us. This guy in Overwatch here? Can't tell. Seventy percent chance to hit is pretty good. Let's get you out of the poison. And let's take the best shot, ninety. All right. Let's get you into cover. Best way not to die is to be in good cover. Oh, I really 
really don't want to trigger anything over there, though. Mm. Putting us both in cover? Well, he's already spit, though, so he shouldn't be able to spit for a while. I think he has a cooldown in it. Good, good. All right, he missed. His, that poison should work off here in a minute. Can't suppress anymore once again, unfortunately. 50% chance to hit. All right, let's take the coin flip. We didn't hit the 70 before. Can we hit the 50 now? No. The answer, no. Still up. Weapons empty. Can't engage. Forty-four percent chance to hit. All right, got the hit. Only did one damage, but if we keep tagging him a little bit, he might think about retreating. I might be able to kill his cover. That would kill him. We only have one nade left, though. Oh, I should have reload, probably. Is he going to try and pull back? No, he just stayed put. Okay. Out of ammo, unfortunately. Thirty six percent chance. All right, running gun. Okay, he's out. Reason why I sat here is because I was more fearful of someone shooting me in the back than anything else. Move this guy up here and we will reload. Ready to rock. All right, there we go. Try and listen for those aliens. No audio cues that time. Good to go. Reload. I want to have this guy in a space where he can kind of cover us if he needs to. I don't think we're... That's great cover anymore. He's pretty badly damaged. All right, I'm not hearing anything else. That, we might be down to the boss. We don't know which area he's going to be in, though. We're going to stack up by the door here. Next turn, we'll reload on everybody so we can get our sniper over here. Make sure everybody's reloaded. All right. So it looks like they're in the main area. 
You know what? Let's actually go in. We're going to go in through this side. I think it's just the, the, the boss guy. Overwatch. I want to get these guys into Overwatch positions. For when we open up the door next turn. Just in case the, the guy inside moves we can take good shots at him there's something out there clear to engage there's the boss okay can you suppress him yes you can wonderful Shooting, shooting them. Forty-five percent. We flank from a safe position. Not really. Okay. Thirty percent chance. It's not great. We should be able just to blast them, right? I mean, in theory. All right, we're going to do something stupid and risky. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. We will try. Well, we're not going to kill him. Man, I wish I had my taser right now. Got him down to one HP. That's... Tasing these guys in this game is kind of like capturing a ghost for the Ghostbusters. You got to weaken it first, and then you got to hold it over the trap, and then you can hit the trap and it gets sucked in. If you try and trap a ghost when he's fully powerful, not going to happen. You have, you have to weaken it some, you know? It's kind of what we're doing here. With no losses. Excellent, excellent. Well done, team. You lived. The team that lived. We did have one guy get wounded, but you know what? I will accept wounds. Here's our assault guy. He does have 86 aim. So last time we were talking about tactical sense, the defense, or over the aggression, you know? Guy has 
solid aim. If we can get him close and just blast the heck out of people, he can pretty much, we can get this guy to the point where he will like guarantee a one hit kill on most stuff, you know, which is pretty legit. Let's be honest. But having him survive to the next episode, also pretty legit. Not going to lie. Let's go with aggression. We got the floater autopsy. We have two sectoid corpses, three floaters. Oh, even though we destroyed them, it, it did. We still have the corpses at least. Two thin men, twenty-three illyrium, eighty-one alloys, ten weapon fragments, a working UF com, uh, UFO computer, three busted ones, and two. All right, so we have a lot to sell that we can sell. The more All I right. see, the more I don't want to see. That twisted hulk of flesh and metal. Two days until that's done. Can we still call that life? We have to keep moving forward with the project, but the thought of treading the same path as the aliens is troubling. What if they were like us once? Are we just part of a continuing cycle? If this is a glimpse of our future, I want no part of it. You know, thoughts that you have to go through. In this AI world. Now you look like a badass. Alright. Did our... Did Abby not actually get a kill? She got no kills there. She got a couple hits, but no kills. So she didn't get enough XP to uh, level. Alright, well, that's fine. We'll take her on the next mission, too. Okay, let's accelerate time a little bit here. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are Thermo generator online. Kind of cool looking, isn't it? Ready to deploy it on your orders. New construction assignments. Now we can start building this satellite uplink can't build it because why we don't have the 10 engineers yet we only have five engineers okay we need to get more engineers we're gonna get 120 for this Well, okay, complete transaction. Nigeria is having issues. Can't launch another satellite just yet. Okay, we definitely need to get some more engineers. So we could build... Some engineering areas. I was thinking of having a stack of generators here. But I think we need to start making a... Uh, does alien containment get a boost? No. Oh. We can only build one. Um. And, oh, these are going to be satellite up links um all right five days all right scanning research complete assign new research all right this gave us the foundry and the phoenix cannon phoenix cannon is a new weapon for our interceptor the foundry is for uh Developing new combat items. Wonderful. All right. Um. Let's do weapon fragments. I expected that would be a priority research task, Commander. 
I'll begin allocating resources to the project Im immediately. Someone wants from someone from one from Canada wants three arc uh, throwers, and we haven't made any yet. It would give us three scientists. Command. Abduction We're sites. Several reported abductions via the hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. All right. The next one we have Volgograd, Russia, which is way over here, isn't it? <laughs> um, maybe that's the other one I'm thinking of. That's gonna be difficult. It gives four engineers though. Plus they have three panic. And if we were to not do this, they would get like a panic in all the locations, which would not be good. Rio, we would get an assault sergeant. We already have a really good sergeant. It is easy. There isn't a lot of panic down here anyways. Uh, Fukuoka, 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 Japan, moderate difficulty, four scientists, two panic. We're going to have to go to Russia. We need the engineers. Plus, we can't let Europe fall any further down this hole of panic. We're going to be doing it next time, guys. You know what? Did anything bad happen this time? Outside of us not having engi any engineers? We had, a we had a successful episode with no deaths and no terrible things happening. Maybe things are just starting to turn around now. We'll see. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You guys are what makes this channel grow. So hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post something new or go live. And please always remember to bring it no matter what you do.